Greetings, this is Paul the Poke from paulthepoke.com. Today's topic, Jude, our common salvation. We are looking at the scripture reference of Jude 1, verse 3. Beloved, while I was making every effort to write you about our common salvation. We're going to start out with the, with the concept of beloved, and this is the noun form of the word agapo, or love. Uh, in this case, it's the Greek word Agapetwa. So per Strong's Concordance, it can be translated as beloved, esteemed, dear, favorite, worthly, worthy of love, or just simply put, loved ones. Jude is addressing loved ones in Jesus Christ. Believers in Jesus are loved. And while I was making every effort to write you, Jude wants his audience to know he's focused. As a mindset, Jude has been continually intent to make it known to fellow believers. Jude also wants to communicate with spude in the Greek, and this word can be translated as haste, earnestness, diligence, um, earnestness in accomplishing, promoting, or striving after anything. To give all diligence, interest one's self most earnestly. So spude is also where we get the English word speed. Jude's in a hurry to give it his all. Uh, he has to write and write and write to fellow believers. So everybody's like, well, what are you in a big hurry to write about? And so it's the original urgent intent of Jude's letter, our common salvation. Salvation or soteria in the original Greek, it's the field of study of our salvation. That is soteriology defined by Strong's as deliverance preservation, safety, deliverance from molestation of enemies in an ethical sense, that which concludes to the soul's safety or salvation. So messianic salvation as the present possession of all true Christians. Future salvation is the sum of benefits and blessings which Christians redeemed from all earthly ills will enjoy after the visible return of Christ from heaven in the consummated and eternal kingdom of God. And uh, Strong's also has a quote from A.W. Pink and stated that this is a fourfold salvation, saved from the penalty, power, presence, and most importantly, the pleasure of sin. So that's just kind of a, an academic working definition of what is salvation, what is soteriology, what does it mean, you know, what's the minutia behind that word? Um, Romans 1 verse 16, for I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. The gospel of Jesus Christ is our salvation. The apostle Paul offers what many believe to be the definitive statement on the gospel. This is of the utmost importance as stated by the apostle Paul. This is the priority. As believers in Jesus Christ, we should draw a line in the sand and stick a flag in the ground over this issue. If a person does not get the issue of the gospel of Jesus Christ right, big time problem. So if you're going to understand anything of what the what the Bible has to say about what's the gospel, this is it. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 through 4. Now brothers, I want to remind you of the gospel I preached to you, which you received and on which you have taken your stand, by which also you are saved. If you hold fast the word which I preached to you, unless you believed in vain, for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and he was raised on the third day according to the scriptures. And that's the quote from Paul in 1 Corinthians 15. You know, the summary of it, Jesus Christ died. He was buried and he was raised and he was raised this is the gospel message of Jesus Christ and it's the gospel is the euangelion in the greek or it's the good news it's really good news strongs defines gospel it is the glad tidings of salvation through Christ this is the proclamation of the grace of god manifest and pledged in Christ as the messianic rank of Jesus was proved by his words his deeds and his death the narrative of his saints, deeds, and death of Jesus Christ came to be called the gospel of grad, or, or glad tidings. Um, so the resume of Christ is sequentially ordered in Strong's definition of the gospel, glad tidings of the kingdom of God, soon to be set up, subsequently also of Jesus, the Messiah, the founder of this kingdom. 
After the death of Christ, the term comprises also the preaching of concerning Jesus Christ as having suffered death on the cross to procure eternal salvation for the men in the kingdom of God, but as restored to life and exalted to the right hand of God in heaven, thus to return in majesty to consummate the kingdom of God. So the issue of the gospel is not an intellectual decision. The gospel is a moral issue. Does God exist and does he take the issue of sin seriously? If so, then there is accountability. The issue needs serious attention. Eternal life and eternal death are on the line. The destination of your eternal soul is at stake. This is about getting your heart, soul, and mind right with the Creator. And this good news is for everybody. God does not discriminate. So even the most brutal, unsavory character can be saved from eternal hell if they believe the gospel message of Jesus. So you guys out there can think up of the vilest person in your mind, and that person too can be saved with their belief in Christ. Did he die for sin? Did, did, does somebody accept Christ's payment for sin? Because uh, we're all guilty, regardless of the infraction. We're all toast, and we're all equal at the foot of the cross. Even a barbaric Scythian can be saved by the cross work of Jesus. And we get that in Colossians 3, verse 11, a renewal in which there is no distinction between Greek and Jew, circumcised and uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave and free man, but Christ is all and in all. And closing, uh, 1 Thessalonians 5, verse 9, for God has not destined us for wrath, but obtaining salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. So if you guys appreciate this, uh, please feel free to share it with others. Uh, it's going to be located under the category of gospel and also of Jude, so you can point and click on any of these categories, uh, read uh, information and so forth regarding the content. And then also if you'd like to sign up, you can click on the blue bar, type in your email address, and um, we'll shoot you an email every time a new post is sent out. Try to get some stuff out. Oh, in a neighborhood four or five times at least per week from a variety of different authors and different perspectives. So appreciate you guys following along. Thanks a lot. Take care.